Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So just a quick video to let you know that if you are using Google Docs, that you can now customize Docs with cover images. Now, what's changing basically is Google has said that it's making it easier for you to personalize and differentiate documents with full cover images that extend from one edge of your document to the other. Now, this feature is on a controlled rollout, and I haven't received it yet, but just to give us an idea, if we head over to an image and a GIF provided from that announcement, basically, you can add cover images according to Google from a curated gallery, or you can also upload your own image to, uh, to insert. Now, how we do this is, as you can see, how this all works is you head up to your insert, cover image, upload from computer, or you can choose stock images. In this case, in this example, they are choosing stock images, and there we go. And there's your cover image um, that takes up, you know, uh, the full breadth of your doc or however you want it to be set up. Now, something just to take note of is that cover images can only be added to documents set to pages mode allowing the image to span the entire width of the document. So to set up pageless mode, what you will do, and I've actually posted on this previously, but just a quick recap, how you set up pageless mode is you head to your file and you head down to page setup and now you'll see pageless and then you click on OK. So you can see it kind of expands the document as the name implies calling it pageless and that's the only way this new cover image can work according to google so you need to um, pop that into a pageless mode for this new feature to work now the rollout pace is a gradual rollout which is common which started yesterday on the 24th of september so i would say over the next month the rollout should have been completed and the availability, once again, is to all Google Workspace customers, Workspace individual subscribers, and once again, personal Google accounts also get this new feature, which I think is good news if you are using Google Docs. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.